Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and in today's video of our AMC1 series, I'm going to discuss screening guidelines for colorectal cancer. Um, so basically the screening guidelines for common types of cancer like colorectal cancer, uh, cervical cancer, prostate cancer, um, breast cancer, and other non-communicable diseases like hypertension, diabetes, um, and hypercholesteremia. Um, so all these screening guidelines are very important for the purpose of uh, MCMCQ exam. And I'm going to discuss all these different screenings in the upcoming video. But today we are going to take a detailed look at uh, colorectal cancer screening. So for the purpose of colorectal cancer screening, we have divided our population into three different categories, um, depending upon the risk. So category one include those people who have uh, average risk or slightly above average risk. Category two include those people who have moderate risk and category three include those people who have a very high risk of developing colorectal cancer. So the screening strategy for each category is different. Okay. So let's take a look at category one. Category one include those people who are at average risk. So those people who do not have any family history of colorectal cancer. And it also includes those people with slightly above average risk. So these people are those people who have only one first degree relative diagnosed at age 60 or above. Okay, so category one include one first degree relative diagnosed at age 60 or above. Okay, the screening method here is fecal occult blood testing every two years, starting from the age of 45 up till the age of 74. Okay, so these people will undergo fecal occult blood testing every two years, starting from age 45 and it will continue up till age 74, okay? So no colonoscopy, uh, no screening colonoscopy here, okay? But if the fecal occult blood test uh, is positive at any point in time, then the next step will be uh, referring the patient for colonoscopy. But because you have a positive screening test here, uh, and then you are referring to colonoscopy, and this is not a screening colonoscopy now, this is a diagnostic colonoscopy. You are trying to look at any evidence of cancer because the patient have a positive fecal occult blood test, okay? So no colonoscopy for category one, only FOBT every two year from age 45 to 74, okay? Now category two, which is moderate risk. It includes those people who have one first degree relative diagnosed before the age of 60, okay? So same like category one, you have one first degree relative, but here the relative is diagnosed at a younger age. Okay, so the relative is diagnosed before the age of 60. Or you have two relatives. So two first degree relative at any age or one first degree and one second degree relative at any age. So as the name suggests, this is category two. So it includes either one younger first degree relative or two relatives. So two first degree relative at any age or one first degree, one second degree relative at any age, okay? How you are going to screen these people? You are going to do, sorry about that. You are going to do a colonoscopy every five years, starting 10 years before the earliest diagnosis in the family or age 50, whichever comes first, okay? So the screening method here is colonoscopy. How frequently you are going to do the colonoscopy? Every five years. When you are going to start doing the colonoscopy? So either at age 50 or 10 years before the first diagnosis in the family, whichever comes first, okay? So let's suppose um, you have one first degree relative who is diagnosed with colorectal cancer at age 58, okay? So when they are going to start doing colonoscopy for you? Is it age 50 or age 48? So the answer is going to be age 48 because it says 10 years before the earliest diagnosis in the family, which uh, or age 50, whichever comes first. So here 48 comes first. So we are going to start doing colonoscopy from age 48 and we'll do colonoscopies every five years. Then we have category three, which are people with very high risk of developing colorectal cancer. So here we have three or more people, okay? As the name suggests, category three, we are going to have three or more relatives diagnosed with colorectal cancer. 
So two first degree relatives or one second degree relatives diagnosed before the age of 50. Okay, so here the cutoff age is age 50. Two first degree, one second degree relative diagnosed before the age 50 or three first degree relatives at any age or two first degree relatives plus two second degree relatives at any age. So in all these, you have three or more people, okay? So either two first degree plus one second degree or all three are first degree or two of them are first degree and two of them are second degree at any age. And the screening method here is again colonoscopy. The frequency is again the same every five year and starting 10 years before the first diagnosis in the family or age 40, whichever comes first. So here it was age 50. Now these people are high risk. So we are going to start doing it from age 40. So 10 years before the first diagnosis in the family or age 40, whichever comes first. And additional things to do uh, here in category three is to provide these people with genetic counseling as well. Okay, other than that, aspirin 100 mg is uh, considered a good preventive, preventive method in all these categories and can be started from age 45. So this was all about colorectal cancer screening. If you're finding these videos helpful, um, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section. Um, and I'll see you soon with the next video.